hi um this is not a video i have planned to make or a video that i actually thought i would be making and i've literally said to people recently like i'm not going to speak about it i'm not going to talk about it because i don't want the internet to know that it freaks me out and it's a private thing and i don't want to share it on the internet it's just a jelly cat looking back there i'm gonna guess that you've read the title if you've clicked on this video i know i know this isn't the biggest deal in the world and i know that like like this isn't for clickbait this isn't for attention this isn't for pity i feel like i need to say this and i feel like now is the right time because i've been skirting around saying this for the last year and a half of doing youtube you all know about my anorexia you all know that i have um i struggled with that for a long time but what i've never ever spoken about on here is the fact that i do have um complex ptsd i think i hide it quite well i don't think anyone would know but then again trauma is something that is very hidden unless you choose to really speak about it but it's kind of come to a point where i'm really 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 frustrated with the way that my life is um and the therapy i'm going through right now is for complex ptsd and I, I said so many times it's not something i'm going to speak about because i don't want people speculating i don't want people prying i don't want questions so it probably seems like well why am i saying it but i just feel like i've seen so much stuff on social media recently of people being like i refuse to waste another summer indoors and i need to live my best life and people going out and doing things and like traveling places and i can't do any of that and if i didn't have ptsd and i was in the place i was in with my anorexia recovery i'd be fine i would be able to do all of that but i can't do things and i get really stressed when i'm filming content because i'm like people are going to think that like i don't do anything but sit in the house and eat because i don't get out of the house much so when i do i don't want to film it because i i really cherish that because i can't i can't really do anything on my own and i i I'm really not saying this so that people are like, like feel sorry for me or anything. And I, I, as I said, I don't want people to like speculate what happened to me. I've just had a lot of trauma um, and I've been diagnosed with complex PTSD for the last two years now. You know, I'm not gonna turn my channel into like a PTSD recovery channel. Um, but part of the reason I needed to make this video is that my therapy is gonna get really, really, really hard very soon i have a lot of stuff to work through and i absolutely love making youtube videos and it's the best thing in the world but there are going to be some weeks where i just can't do it there are going to be some weeks where i'm just exhausted i've been saying so much recently in my videos that i am just strained and honestly i have been tired for the last five years like i don't i don't know why i'm making this it just felt right it felt like the right time i'm just fed up to be honest i'm just sick of the way my life is at the moment and i'm endlessly 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 glad that i have chosen to recover from anorexia because all the joy that i have in my life has come from choosing recovery but it's so frustrating that there are these barriers um that mean i just can't can't do things like people would say like you should take yourself out for coffee you should take yourself out on a walk but i can't i can't i can't do that i um i get nightmares and flashbacks and triggers and all the things that come with complex ptsd and i know that there will be people out there who struggle with it so i guess part of this is me wanting you to know that you are not alone it's just something i've never wanted to share please can people not message me on weeks that i don't post videos and be like i need a video i'm relying on this video because i make these videos to help everyone but i'm also quite mentally ill <laughs> and like i i will make them as often as i can because i love making them i love all of you i love the community that we've got but i do need some time and i do need some understanding that i'm actually going through a lot right now but i hope this gives some kind of an explanation to this thing that i'm always referencing um i just sort of feel like i'm not being completely honest on this channel if i if i don't speak about it and my whole thing is being honest and showing you a true recovery but if it seems like there are barriers in my recovery and i'm not going out when i have the opportunity to and and i'm not as happy as i could be it's not because i regret recovering like choosing to recover from anorexia it's because i have a lot of shit to work through and i know i keep saying that and i really don't want to get emotional but yeah stuff's just hard but i'm so 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 grateful for every single one of you i'm really not the sort of person to just sit down and fucking cry to a camera but uh here we are so yeah please respect my privacy please don't speculate or ask questions all i need is understanding and 
support um i'm forever forever grateful for everything this channel's done for me and this community so thank you i am going on my own like private healing journey as well alongside this um and honestly it's not something i want to document at this point in time but i i posted on instagram the other day about how going on public transport makes me really anxious and i got a bus for the first time um when i'm doing little challenges like that and it's it's kind of reminiscent of early anorexia recovery um except now i'm going through anorexia recovery and early ptsd recovery at the same time it's kind of weird but people asked what's the big deal about going on a bus like they didn't understand and i sort of was like i really can't speak about any of this and all these things that i'm proud of myself for doing without being able to say that actually i have complex ptsd i love you all so much i'm sorry to randomly drop this in but i feel like it it needed saying and i haven't actually properly cried which is always a fun time i love you all so much if you are going through something similar again just know that you're not alone you're loved and this channel is always going to be a safe space for you even when the world feels really scary i will see you next week with a more positive video hopefully unless i'm struggling and then i won't because i need to be kinder to myself and let myself rest and not feel like i owe everyone every part of myself constantly i don't know where i'm going with this i love you i will see you next week take care of yourself thank you for listening to me